Another thing you might know is that I've taken my air conditioner out um, so it isn't hurt by the jostling on the road. But now you can get a 6,000 BTU air conditioner, which I just got from, uh, from UPS. Um, you can get them on Amazon for $318. So they're really nice. I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna install this and see how it works this weekend. Anybody want to buy a dog? On a new air conditioner, they have these little tabs that are meant to attach the air conditioner to a window. What I do is I tilt them up like this so they're straight up and down. And I do that by using a set of ice, a set of pliers like this. So I take two pairs of pliers, one to hold it so it doesn't break, which is how they do it on the the original one. Then I just grab it and twist it up. And you have to go a little farther than you really want. And then you can twist it back a little bit. If you did break them off, it wouldn't be terrible. But I'll drill a hole through these. And I'll put a screw into the frame where this goes in the side of the wall of the A-liner. And it will guarantee that it can't come out for the most part so these are the two different models this is the old model it's got a knob there um, but I mean it's it's uh, got a filter in the front which has never been cleaned but never seems to have needed it um, and this is the new one which is this pretty much the same except it's electronic in the front it has a filter in the front, just like the old one does. And uh, it's got all these little modes and power and all that. And it works with a remote control. So I can lay down in the bed, turn it on, and after a couple hours I can turn it off. I think it may even have a timer. But uh, that's the difference. It's a 6000 BTU versus the old one which is 5,000 and I don't know if there's just a calculation difference in they're really the exact same models and, and but we're going to test them out we're going to find out if the new one cools better and harder than the old one although the old one is uh, four years old and you'd expect it might be a little less uh, powerful but you know the, the, uh, now I got the new one with a four-year warranty from Amazon for I think 50 bucks and it was three hundred and eighteen dollars this one on Amazon the 5,000 model is still on Amazon and it is uh, 270 I think 279 so either one of them you can get off Amazon delivered in four days and uh, we're going to stick it in the trailer. Let's go out and do that. And this, folks, is the new air conditioner. It works on a remote control, which is pretty neat. You push the button on the top, comes to life. It has all the buttons on the control panel, of course. I'll zoom in on that. But the remote control has the same things. And it has fan speed, F1 for low, 2 for, high, for higher, and 3 for the very highest. It has a timer button that while I'm running it, 
I can hit timer and it'll go off in one hour or two hours or three hours all the way up to 24 hours. <laughs> it'll run for 24 hours and then turn off. It's got four different modes. It's got cool, which is what I've got it on. You can hear the compressor start up. And it's got fan, where just the fan will run. No compressor. And then it's got a dry mode, where the fan always runs at the lowest uh, speed so that it dries the air and gets the humidity out of the air, which is really nice in the A-liner. If you don't want it super cold, that'll pull the air out of the air and you won't get dripping from the outside. And then it's got an energy saver mode, which it turns on and off the compressor pretty well. But I'm really pleased. It's a 6000 BTU again. It's exactly the same as the old one. It even has the little filter in the front. So you can change it fits in the exact same spot and like I say I slide it in and out just like the old one and boy this feels really good I think I'm gonna take a break for a minute and uh, enjoy the air conditioning in the trailer so as I said this so this slips right in the hole same as the old one did I've got uh, some bungee cords on it because I had extra bungee cords and I didn't know where to put it but it doesn't need it it's not gonna come out of there This is actually the bungee cord for the plug that I put in there when this isn't in here. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but one of the things I always do with these air conditioners is I drill a hole in this corner down here. Zoom in and I'll show you. Any air conditioner will create uh, condensation. And so normally there's a hole on the other side that drips right in front of your steps. But I drill a little tiny hole here and it drips out there. And every now and then you gotta clean that hole. So it drips out way over here in front of the wheel instead of over here where this is this plug is supposed to be the water outlet. But this drips right next to the step. So I don't like that. But um, but this is in here pretty good. Now I can pull it right out, but it's in there. Um, and I'm going to wait for it to stop dripping so I can put it in my car. Now if you noticed, I tilted this down a little bit and the water's coming out a lot faster because it's got a little more slant to it. Um, something I'll warn new owners, if you have a cool cat fridge and back here in the back you have the cool cat fridge and you run that on air conditioning, make sure your trailer is just slightly tilted towards the back. You don't want it completely level because that cool cat fridge will uh, fill with water and overflow onto your floor. You, there's, a, there's a spot in the back where you want it to, to come out of. So let it drain out the back of the cool cat fridge. And I'm, I got to check to see if that's the right way to do it or if that's the way it was designed. But I don't see um, a drain in a cool cat fridge. Um, to let the water out and it There was another a-liner here and they had uh, Probably about an inch of water inside the a-liner from that cool cat fridge and it's in a pan They've got their own drip pan, but that's going to slosh around and, and get out of there If you start moving without that draining out so you want to drain it out So that's a hint for people with cool cats. I, I Greatly prefer these to the cool cats a they take up a lot less room. I can take it out when I don't want it, um, and I can replace it real easy. So, something to think about if you buy a new trailer. Somebody's got sticks. It's done dripping. See? Easy. And that way it stays, that way it keeps from getting jostled around in the trailer. So, 
something to think about. <laughs>